Namaste. I am so happy with your success, with your journey, with your stories. And today is the last thing. And you are going to get the complete package here, what you are supposed to do and what should be the sequence. So till now, we learned the basis of the posture, which is the foundation of it, Tarasana. And then after that, we did chair pose and we learned Kapalabhati Kriya, which is to burn, help you burn the metabolic to increase the metabolic fire and to burn your calories even during the rest. So now today there is a twist in this series. So we are going to begin with this metabolic fire, which, so we are going to, so let me say it again. So what we are going to do today is Kapalabhati Kriya, which is help you to cleanse your system. So we'll begin with the cleansing and then we'll do the stretches in the form of Tarasana, chair pose, and that's every posture is there in sun salutation. And the new thing, new thing, you're gonna, going to love it even more, is pranayama. Pranayama is the extension of breathing where you can feel every pore, every particle of the air, and then how to direct that energy for your everyday activity. And you're going to be so empowered, and that's what my intention is for you for this whole program. So now let us begin with the cleansing. So how are we going to do it? You have already done it in day three and in day four we did sun salutation and today we are going to do it as a first practice. So keep one finger in front of your nostril so that you can know if you are exhaling or inhaling. Exhalation, you will feel air right here. So while you are exhaling, the air will attach and you will feel it. What else? When you exhale, your tummy gets in. So two things you are going to concentrate on, exhalation and tummy, if it's getting in or not. Now with every inhalation, there is exhalation. And with every exhalation, there is inhalation. So this is a great philosophy. If you are zero now, you'll have, it, you'll have everything again. And once you have everything again, that's your chance to give it away. So this is what we are learning and doing here. And once you're sure that you are exhaling and tummy gets in, then you don't need your sensors here to notice that whether you're exhaling, or whether your tummy is tucked in, you're free. You can keep your hands in resting position or Gyanu Mudra and then keep doing what you're doing. I did 10 strokes. So you let me know how many strokes you did. So I did 10 exhalation and the sound which is coming, I'm noticing that. And while I'm exhaling, my tummy is getting in. That's what you need to notice. After doing it for five minutes, like you can take rest, you can use the wall as a support so that you are able to do it for longer time. And as soon as you are done with it, you'll know the power that you are light and you have the energy to move forward from here. So after this Kapalabhati Kriya, I would suggest, strongly suggest that you relax. And how to relax? Concentrate over your breath. So keep concentrating over your breath for a couple of times. And then you are good to go. And if you're very tired, your back is aching, or you uh, you haven't given time this time in sitting, and this is your first time, I would suggest you lay, lie down on your back as in Shavasana, and relax in that position for say about one or two minutes or whatever time, and then get going. So keep get going. So now the next portion is you already know which is sun salutation, so after this, we are going to do sun salutation and after sun salutation, we'll do again um, a pranayama. So let me give you a demo of that pranayama too. So sun salutation, you can take it from uh, yesterday's video, uh, which is the, the combination of 10 posture and which is actually was made for, uh, was created for the warriors in kings, you know, in olden time. So you can feel 
your body stronger, your mind stronger, once you allow your mind to be here. So as I'm talking to you, I have just one word and that's simple that I'm talking to you. I'm fully involved. So if you do any activity, get yourself involved in that activity. So I'm giving you next demo and I will guide you through how you can bring your mind here. Most likely your mind would love to be here, but if not, do write, do let me know your limitation or your fears, your challenges and your wins also. Because I am so eagerly waiting for you to share so that I can give my 100% input there also. So how to begin? Normal breath. Breath is flowing and you are concentrating over your breath. Whatever you are milking is going to be extended. You are giving life to it. As I am noticing, every breath is a little longer than previous. So I am adding on life to it. And once you are fully concentrating on it, you will see what's the length. Now, to add further length to it, as pranayama tells, the definition of pranayama is to extend the prana. So, how to extend prana further than this? That's a great tip here and the, the pranayama is known as Viloma 1. So you will inhale in parts. So you will inhale say about for a second and you will hold for some time. Then you will inhale for two seconds and then hold in between. And I'm giving you a demo. And then in one go you will exhale. So let us inhale. inhaling some stopping you but then you don't stop so you are watching your breath you're inhaling you're inhaling you're inhaling and then you're noticing what's happening so you are just taking in you're inhaling you're breathing in once you're fully done you stop and then you breathe out in one go let it completely go out let it completely go out and that's the whole process. So in the next cycle, I won't talk and I will let you and me do it in complete silence. So inhalation will happen in parts. Okay, so I'll make it simpler for you. So whenever I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm saying this, I'm holding in between. So this is for the first time I hold it, the second time I hold it, the third time, and if I can go like more, I'll do more, but if I'm stopped at three and I cannot breathe in more, I'll stop there. And then I'll close my fingers and then breathe out completely. Okay, so we agree on this uh, agreement that breathing in is in parts and breathing out in one go. So let us begin. Be aware of your bottom. Be aware of the center of your buttock. And then you will have a rise in your posture. And then start inhaling. I've done it only a few times, but I'm not feeling like speaking anymore. So if it's that's if that's happening with you as well, keep continuing. I'm feeling like that I should continue it, but I have to stop here because I'm telling you I am being a part of your journey and giving you these instructions. So now this next part in this pranayama is you breathe in in one go but very slowly and you're noticing what's happening a cord coming out a chest is expanding and expanding to three dimension it's moving up it's moving out up and sideways so that's kind of expansion is happening to your chest so you're breathing in one go 
but breathing out you're holding in between so breathing out you're holding in between breathing out holding in between and then whatever you gained you're retaining that knowledge and then you're passing it and you're you're noticing when to give how to give so that it can be really productive so let us begin the second part which is viloma 2 inhalation and bongo and exhalation and parts so let's begin And what it does, it increases your capacity to give away. Once you're fully taken in, you are empowered with that knowledge, that wisdom, and you have everything in you. Now the only thing is you can give it away. And that's what exhalation is symbolic of, that you're giving away. And more you give away, more come back to you. So let us do two cycles here of Viloma 2. And then we will combine Viloma 1 and Viloma 2 all together. And that's going to be amazing journey. So uh, let me give a recap. So we did Kapalabhati Kriya, which is forceful exhalation or active exhalation where you are light and you are light feeling and you are you have cleansed your system. Then next comes in between a sun salutation, which comprises of your tarasana and chair pose, which we learned in the first day. And then you're doing sun salutation, go as much as you can and then you relax. Once you have done for the relaxation, then comes this part, which is pranayama, extension of prana. And we just did Viloma 1 and Viloma 2. We are doing two more cycles. So one inhalation in one go. After full inhalation, I'm exhaling in parts. And I'm done now. There's nothing left in. And now I'm ready to breathe in. So inhale fully, completely. If you want to hold that knowledge to process it and process, process it in a way that so that giving away is better, then hold it, process it, and then breathe out. cannot breathe out more because once you talk in between you already breathe it out some of it so you retain your knowledge you speak less gain more is another philosophy which is great uh, yogic philosophy every posture every move is full of philosophy but you can experience it experience it all so now is the time to combine the two practices so you will take in parts and you give away in parts What happens when you don't talk you can inhale but you can give away more and the entire game is to give away more than what you gain so my journey started when I was 190 pounds and right after a week I gained everything in free so back home uh, there are free yoga centers in park and from there I learned and after a week I started giving it to people and this is what my intention today is to give it for free those who are needing it and give it completely and wholly so that I can be with you with this knowledge which I have. So what I'm trying to say is like give it away and then more is there for you to know and you can enjoy it. So do share with me whatever you know you are gaining with this journey and be there in the Facebook group, which is free Facebook group, all for you and people like you. 
and looking forward to see you again. If you have any questions, do share it with me and I'll be there happy to give you any answer I know. Thank you so much.